Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to Backbone Prologue. This was free in Steam. I play as a private detective, Howard Luder, this very handsome raccoon in the trench coat right here. And I am looking up on a case of a cheating otter. And right now I am trying to get into this bite club, but the bouncer won't let me in. So I got a lead from my friend Larry in the alley. Rhymes not intended. That a young squirrel guy um, delivers drugs or something to the bite, and that the bite is actually owned by a local crime family. So I'm thinking this squirrel guy right here is my lead. Let's talk to him. Hi, what up, old man? Are you Johnny? I was asking. Howard, nice to meet you. Are you Johnny? Fitting name for a grown-ass man in a trench coat. What do you need? Mm, nerd, you got monkey butt. Got shutter fang. You can get me into bites. Uh, let's start with this. The fuck? Who told you that? A friend. Yeah, right. A friend. I don't have it. No luck, old fart. Kid, I know I'm being a bore, but I really need your help. Get me into bite, will you? You know where to get it, but you know where to get it. Just lead me through the bouncer is all I'm asking. I don't have time for this. I need to get into the bite. I'll, it'll take me there. Let's start with the... yeah. Yeah, there. Hank has good reasons for not letting any old weirdo in. I might help, but what's in it for me? Consider not turning you to the cops. Not much. Just an amazing feeling you get when you help something out. Chill. Listen, I'm a detective. My target is in there. If you help me now, I might be of use to you later. Yeah. A favor for a favor. What? You serious? Prove it. I don't need to prove you anything, but I might consider not blah blah blah. Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if it wasn't serious? No scram. I can't for now, you have to trust me. Yeah, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. A raccoon in a trench coat? All I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone in front of the media set every night and cries himself to sleep because he's lonely and can't get a boner, so he wears this fucking excuse of an outfit hoping people would finally take him seriously. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> We are hearing that from Squirrel with so much Virgil that he literally sticks to the floor, don't you find? Shut up! At least I don't smell like garbage. At least my mother is not slaving her way in from Lanswell. Well, you're right, you actually smell pretty nice. To be frank, I'm just jealous. At least I don't need to deal drugs to survive. Maybe I should be... Maybe I should compliment him. Yeah, let's tell him he smells nice. You're pathetic. Do I really need to get in, huh? Yes, I really, really do. Help me out, Johnny, please. Ugh. Old man? Okay. I'm tired of you. Let's go then. Meet me at the entrance. Thank you. I'll see you there. Furman and Sons. One slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone... I hope I can afford him. Okay. Mm, yeah, let's let's just go straight, straight here. I nearly got beaten up by the bank employees earlier. They did not appreciate me asking questions. So, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Oh me. Oh. Hello, Bouncer. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Hi, Johnny. Where you've been? Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. 
and I will go inside. And let's hope this won't end just here. That would be... No, no. Okay, new objective. What is my new objective? This note to self. Reminder to call mom. It's not difficult to remember, just difficult to stop procrastinating. Media said it's bricked again. Frankie would... Yep. And here's my case. Case thing. Uh, ooh, I have three carnivores. Maybe they're no green. No green colleagues are fucking assholes. Didn't get any new info on them. Yeah. Probably shouldn't risk talking to them again. Ooh, there's a lot of information here. Now let's see. Okay, Downey. Officer Down is on shift. If he catches sight of me, he'll talk my ear off till Green's trail runs cold. <gasps> Who are you dating now? Aren't you a bit old to still be single? What if the fridge are... Not in the fridge are you wearing? Why even bother with a tie if you're gonna wear that coat? Family friends are the worst, especially when they're cops. Okay, so... Okay. Bo, what if Bo has life outside of that old newsstand? I doubt it's kind of sad. Today's headline, and there's peddlers, yeah, and the squirrel. Squirrel fellas called Johnny, and he's a pusher. Ali, and then I have info on Larry. Oh, this is nice! This is really nice. Of note, Bite's owner is a Bloodworth, so yeah. Bloodworths were a rather notorious crime family a couple of years back, then she hit the fan. Some deaths and arrests later, they were pretty much wiped off the map. Perhaps this cousin's trying to restore the family business to its former glory. Then again, maybe just she's just running a sleazy club. Could be. And... Yeah, sounds like the bite is a drug spot on Granville. And yeah, okay, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay, what was my objective? Find out if Green was in a bite tonight and where he might have gone next. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Jazz. Alcohol. Beautiful dog ladies. A little too high end for my taste. There's a Renee, and there's a Colby, and there's an Audrey, and there's someone singing, and then there's an Ingrid, and Clarissa, and uh, the bartender. I cannot talk to bartender. Why does this look like all the customers are dogs, and then all the employees are cats? Am I seeing? No, there are some cat customers there also. I don't know what the kind of the social structure of this city is. Everybody is an animal apparently, and uh, fish are still sold as food. So, and there is a bouncer, and that's the door. Can I look at the door? Personal only, closed. Okay. And I don't want to talk to the bouncer just yet. Let's start with Clarissa. Hello, Clarissa. You look a little lost. I'm exactly where I need to be. Oh, so you're confident. Not trying to stir up trouble, are you? Do I really seem like the type? I wouldn't dream of it. Just trying to break out of the old routine. Hypothetically, say I was. What then? I'd have Hank show you the door. Generally speaking, troublemakers are bad for business. I guess I have to put off troubling at least till the rain stops. Hypothetically, of course, I'm on my best behavior, promise. Oh, you have stake on the state of business. Oh, that is interesting information. I do. What kind of stakes? I should formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. I must say you've got great ambience and lovely music. Oh, if I'd known, I would have been more watchful of my manners. I've heard that name before. Nice finally meeting you, Mrs. Bloodworth. Oh, I like the music. Oh. Yeah, let's say nice meeting you. It's Miss Bloodworth. 
Miss Bloodworth. Of course, excuse my manners. If I cared about manners, I would have told you so early on. So, whom do I owe the pleasure? Howard Loader, private investigator. Exciting! And what made you think you'd be welcome here? Why wouldn't I be? I'm a guest like every other person. I'm solving a case and I ended up here following a lead. Perhaps you could answer a couple of questions. I know. I knew I wouldn't. The bouncer explicitly told me that. Which is rude and suspicious. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. That's right. And now I would have to ask you leave. I'd prefer not to. I feel like we have lots to discuss. Oh, I must insist. Or should I ask Hank to take care of you? No, that's unfortunate. No need. I can walk my own two feet. Don't worry, Mr. Loader. We'll be seeing each other again soon. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. Oh shit! Did they just kick me out of here? God damn! New objective. Fuck, I messed that up. The bite staff is hiding something. We'll find a way back inside. God damn it! Clarissa Bloodworth. She is hiding something. Green is there. I just need to find another way in. Okay, let's try the back alley then again. Larry, can you help me? Can I do with the intercom? Where have you been? We've expected you two hours ago. Apes, Stevie mixed up the date. Can you buzz me in? Damn it, I got stuck in a jam. Let me in. Sorry. I'm... Sorry, ready to load. Is this a prank? Get out. I guess that was wrong. Shit. Okay. Uh, can I... Intercom again. Again? Okay, we've got five packages ready for pickup. Underway, can I get in? Let's try that. Come on in. Thanks, going in. Okay. There we go. So now I'm back here. And... Fright lift. Dirty pots. This doesn't look very clean. I wouldn't eat here if, even if they didn't kick me out. Right lift. Packaging lift going downstairs. Need a turn key. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you failed. Don't get caught next time. What? Uh. Excuse me. What the fuck? Do I need to crouch? Okay, I'm crouching. <gasps> and I got upstairs! Oh yeah, okay. We're doing this. We're doing this. Oh, I'm into this. Press control to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Okay. This tank is coming from the end of the hall. Green might be there. But I have to get careful, okay, like this. You failed. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so I need to get into the shadow like this. All right. End of the hall. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Oh, private room. Get in there. Shit, I missed him. He's just been here. I can smell the monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. Maybe indeed. Yeah, close that uh, painting. A green tie stuck behind the frame. What if I budge it? What? A secret lift? And Green went in there. I wonder what's on the other side. Green hat. 
This must be the monkey butt. To be honest, I imagined something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks. Oh, and the green hat. Greens, green hat. Is there anything? Yeah, okay. I might just as well take a shot. Get in there and press the button. Find a guy, or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. How do I get there? Okay, it, it just needed to press the button again. What the fuck is this place? What are they burning here? Clothes? Scissors. I should take these in case I need to cut something to get out of here. Or someone. Jeez. Really like the music. I should probably crouch before I open the door. A freezer. Green what it and ice cream. Doesn't make sense. Gotta keep digging. Open no 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 don't open that door corkboard. Inventory delivery schedule. What's this? Greg, if you're gonna swipe the stuff for girls, you need to make a note or you mess up the inventory. And intercom. It's an intercom connected to the other rooms by the building, and there's a list of extension close by. Dial bar, dial freezer, dial packaging, dial kitchen. Okay, leave for uh, now, and uh, the door. The door is closed, but the hatch is open. I might be able to crouch and crawl through whatever the other creepy place awaits. Okay, go. Always wondered why I'd end up in a place like this. Yippee Oh, hi! Three cooks. I can't get caught now. Yeah, okay. You failed. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I got back here. Intercom. If I dial the bar. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Nope. Just checking connections. Wait, wait. Who is this? Okay, and um, this is freezer. Dial kitchen. Kitchen listening. You suck. It's Greg. Stuck in the freezer again. <laughs> What are you doing? I want to order a large pizza pineapple on top. <sighs> yeah, it's Greg. Fucking hell, Greg. When are you going to learn? Hold up, I'm coming. Okay, hang up. And now, I think somebody's coming and I will go here and close this thing. And... Oh shit, hi. Oh, oh, you saw me, but okay. Oh crap. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Oh, okay. There was a guy. Mixer. Okay, so I'm. Okay, and I'm back here. Wires. Oh, oh, there's a dude. There's a dude. Okay, you guys are there, but I can't. What do I do now? What do I do now? Shit. Okay, yeah, so I need to be faster. I need to be faster. So, like immediately, dial kitchen, you suck, yeah, hang up, and crouch and go. And go, 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 before the third cook comes in.
Oh crap, okay, yeah, that is... Shit. I need to time this correctly. There we go, there we go, and the wires. And go, 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 go. Oh crap, damn it! Oh, oh, this looks like a locker room sta for staff. No sign of my order. Oh, oh, I made it. I made it. That was a really tightly, tightly timed thing. Inspect locker. His family favorite, Abe Delight. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe you, Abe's Delight. Oh, now I can say hello. What are you? The citizen, rising star, Andrews, blah, blah, blah. What is that? Why is that? Oh, wait a moment now. These look like clues. AV1. Diamond 5. Four. No, wait, 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 wait. Come, 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 come here. Come here. Come here, you. A B one A. No, stay there. Stay there. What's this? Oh, this one has holes as well. Okay, uh, but what does all this mean? This all means a something. Okay, close. A note. Grab, keep, turnkey, downstairs, bio station. Nice, thanks for being a doofus, Greg. Fright lift, code lock. Anything else? Right lift. A lift. If only I could find a turnkey, it would lead me upstairs, but it was. Yeah, it was. Code lock. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see these. These. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 okay. So this is the order. This is the order. The uh, square goes first. Square, and then this is the... So it's zero. Then the circle. Zero, four, no, four, five, it was the diamond, and then triangle, aka A's and V's, one, zero, four, five, one. There we go. I'm so smart. At least that's what I think I am. No, wait, ask. There we go. Let's see. Zero, four, five, one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Hello. Should I be crouching down? Can I? This is creepy. This is so very creepy. I'm gonna keep crouching down just in case. I wanna sneak, 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 redo. Hi. It is very dark. It is extremely dark. Is there anything I can... 
I can watch or interact with. Okay. Oh, oh! I got into another room. Hello! Lights. Oh my fucking what? It's a body. Green. He's dead. Fuck. Where you come get yourself into? Somebody's coming quickly. Quickly, I have to hide. Okay, hide. Are you sure you want to hide in there? Okay. Did we get a cutscene? Are you making him into food? Greg here. Nope, I'm still working on a cut. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Okay, thank you, Greg. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, packages. Check on the packages. New objective. Wait, what is my objective? Oh my god, this got intense all of a sudden. Escape. Okay, packages. Come on, check the packages. Or, you know, don't. Fine. Body. Key. The turkey. Maybe I'll make it out of here alive. Yeah, just... Just maybe. Okay. Uh, creepy, creepy. Green's gonna be butchered for food. They're eating people. Howard, run. Now. Okay. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll shoot... Maybe I should run. Upstairs. Loading. Uh, use the lift. Okay, there we go. Loading. And... Wait, where am I? I'm... I'm in the laundry room. Can I... Escape. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, and now you're throwing up there. Is this the end of the prologue? This kind of sounds like it could be the end of the prologue. Okay, I'm gonna put this music down just a tiny bit because it is very, very loud. Okay, there we go. Now, yeah, this looks a lot like the end of the prologue. Yeah, backbone. This looks really, really cool. The bit in the in the kitchen, the timing had to be perfect. Thank you for playing Backbone Demo Prologue. Its contests are going to be evolving until the full game release. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for releasing this demo to try out. I really, really liked this. The premise looks really cool and I just like playing detective games and this kind of side-scrolling puzzle puzzle games. So this is a very much my kind of game. And I am looking forward to the full release. A team of cats. Oh, there's plenty of cats being... Uh, <laughs> helping out with this project. <laughs> but yeah, um, this looks really, really cool and really, really interesting and I will be playing the full version of this. I do wish that they would give a little bit leeway to the kitchen bit because um, I had to try that multiple times. Like, many, many, many times, and the timing of the, uh, with the, the crawling, crouching, and leaving the, uh, the other, leaving the freezer, and then getting to the kitchen, and all of that, it had to be just perfect, and I nearly didn't make it even then, so I hope they will give it, like, just a two or three seconds, it, it doesn't mean, need much, but, you know, just a little bit of a timing, um, tweak there would be nice. Uh, Billy Bo Baggins, the boy who lived because he had the higher ground. <laughs> Somebody's 
name, uh, Kickstarter backers' name. That was so uh, that was wonderful. Um, but yeah, art style was nice. The premise was nice. I really like the whole uh, uh, civilization of animals. I don't know if there will be some uh, species or racism type of social commentary implemented in the final game that might be cool to see and it did say when I was trying to get into the nightclub that this is like the cats and dogs only <laughs> and it looked like most of the customers were dogs and most of the employees were like cat animals feline creatures so there might even there be some kind of like social I don't know, structure there. So, yeah, an interesting game. Very unique, very personal, or I don't know, personal. Well, but interesting. There are a lot of Kickstarter backers. That's cool. That's really cool. Unfortunately, I did not realize this was in Kickstarter. I would have backed this up like immediately. But hopefully the full game comes out in schedule. It should come out in 2020 and I guess this started over again. So I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you so much for watching this. The link to the demo is down in the description. If you liked it, let me know. I'm not sure if I said this already. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you again next time. <laughs>